Hello everyone. How are you people of God? It is Lakeidra again. And I have come on to stand with that one that is feeling overwhelmed. But I want to let you know that with God all things are possible. And that situation that you are facing in your marriage, in your family, maybe things going on with your children or everything around you it may look as though you are surrounded by a red sea but god almighty is able to still part your red sea your life may be looking like how things were in the beginning when darkness was everywhere the earth was empty and void and and things looked impossible but as God spoke and sent forth his word it did not return back unto him void and the very things that he has spoken over your life it will not return back void it will accomplish and it will prosper where unto the things God has sent it just like in the beginning when God spoke let there be light and there was light and God removed the darkness. And God parted the waters and caused the grounds to appear. Dry grounds. And that mountain that may be in your way. As you stand on the living word of God. And keep your faith and your trust in him. And don't lose hope. Keep your hope alive by hearing the good things that God has for you. By hearing things that are lovely and of a good report and worthy of praise. Think on these things and the God of peace shall be with you. And as you begin to speak who God says you are and what he says over your family and over your marriage. And I know you may feel like you don't have the strength right now. But as you just hear these words right now, I pray you are strengthened. And that you will begin to get that hope back in the name of Jesus. And as you begin to say, Lord, I still stand up on your word. For your word has already overcame this world. With you, all things are possible. And you know, people of God, as you begin to look to the Lord who is your shepherd. You will see that you are not alone. And I know things may look like it is impossible. But as you get your eyes back fixed upon the Lord Jesus Christ, he will lead you and guide you. The word who became flesh. And he is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. It is by his word that you are going to overcome that problem. As you meditate on it day and night and don't let it depart out of your mouth. Speaking what God said. Shall a man leave father and mother and be joined unto his wife. And they shall be united into one flesh. And that's what you hold on to. The reuniting that's coming forth of what God has spoken over your marriage. It doesn't matter what has happened. It is God's word. That has created all things. And that's what will create that marriage. That you are believing and hoping and trusting God to restore. Hallelujah. Yes, weeping only endures for a night. But joy is surely coming in the morning. It's coming in the morning. And you know, that morning will be that suddenly. That sudden day. Hallelujah. And I pray. That the Lord will keep you strong and help you to endure. As I want to stand with that one right now. That is listening under the sound of my voice. That is feeling hopeless. You are the one that I want to stand with. That one that is feeling so weary. Like you're about to faint. But I'm going to tell you. God will keep you. You will not faint. You will be renewed in strength. You will mount up as wings of eagles. And you will run and not be weary in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak life and strength over you. 
I speak blessings over your home, over your family, as God has spoken in the beginning when he blessed you and your family. Hallelujah. And he said, be fruitful and multiply and have dominion and power. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And Father, I thank you that you have given that one right now power and dominion and strength and grace and peace to overcome whatever is standing, Lord God, in the midst of them that is causing them to feel hopeless. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you right now for your blessings of the Lord that make it rich and you add no sorrow to it. So, Father God, we give you the praise. Thank you for hope and liberty and life. Thank you for speedily recovery. Lord, in that marriage, in that relationship between that husband and that wife, Lord, thank you that there is coming a joining, that there is coming a reuniting. Lord, and I speak that that marriage shall never be the same. As you have spoken in your word, a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife. And they too are united into one flesh. And so, Lord God, that marriage that may look empty and void, and it may look formless. Lord, but I thank you that there is coming light. That there is coming restoration and healing by your very word that has been spoken. It shall accomplish in that life and in that family of that listener right now. That standard that is standing in the gap, believing and trusting in your word and holding on. It may feel like they are at the end of their rope. But Lord, I thank you that your word is going forth and it will accomplish. It will prosper where unto the thing it has been sent and it shall not return back void. Lord, may your word enter that heart of that one that is standing right now. And there is a peace that will, Lord God, their heart and their minds. Lord, may they be filled with your hope and your grace and your peace. That it rests upon them. And that they begin to walk by faith and not by sight. In the name of Jesus. And we bind every lie of the enemy that has been spoken over their life. We bind the works and the plans of the enemy. Lord God, and every weapon. Every weapon that he is trying to use to destroy that family. We bind it in the name of Jesus as I agree with that standard right now. We come together in Jesus' holy name. And we bind every work. Every work and every weapon that is working against your family, your marriage, your children, whatever you may be facing. I stand with you right now. And I speak hope and liberty. Hope and liberty and faith. Faith that moves the mountain in Jesus' name as you begin to hear the word and meditate on it day and night. That there is coming healing and restoration. Not only in your marriage, but in your body. Over your troubled mind. Even over your children. Over whatever need there may be. But the bread is for the children. Precious child of God. You that have been believing. You that have been believing God. For breakthrough in your life. There are blessings that are coming your way for trusting in the Lord God Almighty and holding on to his word, not letting it depart out of your mouth. There is coming success. There is coming success and healing and breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that by your blood you have already reversed the curse. And Lord, may you help that one and sustain them while they are going through the valleys, while they are facing difficult times. Lord, thank you that you, you have already granted the double for all the trouble and all the shame. And Lord, I just speak that that divorce, oh God, that division, that separation is being overturned right now. I speak healing and restoration and bind and rebuke every work of the enemy right now. And I command every enemy and every obstacle to be thrown out. Cast away in Jesus' name and every enemy be scattered now in seven different directions. In the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for peace. Thank you, Lord God, for strength. Strength upon that one that was feeling weary. Thank you for renewed strength right now in the peace of God. Rest upon them now, upon that soul. Upon that heart that was feeling heavy. I thank you, Lord, for lifting that burden. 
In the name of Jesus, we praise you, we worship you, we glorify you. Thank you, Jesus, for turning around that situation right now and bringing forth a new beginning, a new beginning in a marriage that will never be the same, all for your glory, your namesake, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you for being the word and, and the amazing power and grace in that life. Thank you, Lord, for nothing is impossible with you. And we give you the praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise him, people of God. You are not alone. I wanted to come on and stand with that one that was feeling as though you was at the end. God would never leave you nor forsake you. He would never turn his back on all those that trusted him. You will not be put to shame. Yes, it may look like it's difficult now. Things may look difficult now. But get your eyes back on that promise. Of what God spoke in your life. As it is written, a man shall leave father and mother. And be joined to his wife. And they too shall be united into one flesh. Thank you, Lord, for that marriage. That shall illustrate the way Christ and the church. Are united into one flesh. We give you the praise. Trust him people of God. For he love you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Remember you are blessed and you are loved. Thank you for all your prayers. And all your support. May the Lord bless you richly. In every area of your life. And until next time. Remember you are blessed. God loves you and I love you too. Bye bye.